If you work with multiple QuickBooks data files across multiple versions and or editions of QuickBooks, and you sometimes struggle with opening a data file in the correct version or edition of QuickBooks, or if remembering passwords for QuickBooks data files is becoming a challenge, then you will no doubt benefit from using the QuickBooks File Manager. In this tip, you will learn how to use File Manager to assist you by remembering the correct version of QuickBooks it should use to open a file along with the necessary username and password associated with the data file. To work with QuickBooks File Manager, you begin by adding your clients to the client list in QuickBooks File Manager. There are three methods of accomplishing this task. First, by clicking Clients in the upper left corner of the File Manager window, you can choose to add clients via, and then you have the three options available. The first is to use the client list wizard provided by the application. The second is to use just simple Windows Explorer to drag and drop client files and folders into QuickBooks File Manager. And the third option is to add clients one at a time using an add client dialog box. Regardless of the method you choose, once you complete the process of building your client list, all of your QuickBooks clients will be listed on the left side of the current window. From the client list, you select the client you wish to work with. In this case, I've chosen to work with the Atlanta company. And upon doing this, we see that QuickBooks File Manager tells me I have two data files available for the Atlanta company. The first is a traditional QuickBooks data file. Looking toward the far right side, we see that the version of this data file is QuickBooks 2012. The second data file associated with this particular client is a backup data file, which, again, looking on the right side of the window, we can see was generated out of QuickBooks 2010. Now, if I wanted to work with the Atlanta Company data file, I could simply double-click on the file name under Company Files, and QuickBooks File Manager would automatically open that company using QuickBooks 2012. In addition to using QuickBooks File Manager to organize your data files, you can also use the Password Vault feature associated with this tool to ease the process of opening password-protected data files. To work with the Password Vault feature, begin by logging in to your Password Vault. Click Password Vault near the top of the window and choose Open Password Vault. Upon opening Password Vault, enter your username and password for Password Vault. Now this will likely be different than the username and password you may have associated with any QuickBooks data files. Once you enter the username and password, click OK, and that opens an encrypted file that allows you to store usernames and passwords related to each of your clients. For example, if I choose the Atlanta company, I can enter my username for the Atlanta company, and I can also enter the password that I should use to open the Atlanta company. Clicking OK saves this information. Now, whenever I need to open the Atlanta company, assuming it's a password protected file, I just simply double click on the company file name and QuickBooks will open the data file and bypass the traditional login screen because I have stored the appropriate username and password in the password vault. For anyone working with multiple data files in QuickBooks, but particularly so for public accounting firms supporting a large number of QuickBooks clients, the file manager minimizes the burden and frustration associated with working with multiple versions and editions of the application, along with remembering different usernames and passwords associated with multiple data files. If you're not currently working with File Manager in QuickBooks, you should probably give it a try. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thanks for taking time to watch this video tip. For more information on the training courses we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.